Alrighty guys, welcome back to another beta Minecraft video. Today we're going to be looking at how to get onto the nether roof in beta Minecraft. And I'm going to use two methods to get up here. First one with boats, and then the second one using pistons to actually break the bedrock, as you can see here. So let's get right into it. So there are a few ways to get on and off the nether roof in beta Minecraft. The first one I'm going to show you is quite simple, only needing two boats. But there are a few things that you need to find in order to um, have this work, um, I guess, easily and effectively so you can get on and off the roof. So the, uh, the first thing you want is you want exposure to Y127. So uh, this bedrock layer here is 127. So cords are measured from your head in beta. Um, so right now I'm looking at this block here and you can see my Y coordinate is 126, um, which means this block above me is 127. The second thing you want is a two block airspace underneath uh, Y126, uh, 127 there, sorry. Um, so this space here works, uh, these spaces here work, um, and these spaces here work. This will help us get off the nether roof once we're up there. Now the last thing you want is to make sure that there is a two block space aligned with the F1 coordinate. So this space here is actually perfect. You can see on my left hand side F is 1. If I turn this way it turns to 2. So F is 1 here. Um, this space here is actually perfect. Now this space that I've found here is actually ideal for showing you how this actually works. Um, obviously you may not find a space like this as ideal, like this right here is a little bit less, uh, less desirable, but it will still work the same way. But this is a good way to show you how it all works. So I'm going to place my first boat in this block here where there is a two block gap right behind it on the whoops on the F1 uh, on the F1 scale. So when I'm facing F1 I have a two block space behind the block that I'm going to place this boat on. So if I right click here the boat will disappear and right now it's on top of the nether roof on top of this block here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is place another boat in the wall of the bedrock. So on Y126 I'm going to place a boat in here like that. And you can see there's some Z fighting there and uh, that's where the boat is. And I can actually right click that and as you can see I'm inside the bedrock. Now I can move this boat around but I can't actually right click it or get out of it or jump or do anything um, to actually get me out of this bedrock. Now because this boat is so close, all I can do is right click here and actually get out of the boat and there you go, onto the nether roof like that. I will show you that there is another way of getting out of this position though. If you leave the game and then rejoin and then jump, you'll be able to get out of the bedrock as well. So you don't actually need to be able to reach uh, the boat that you want to use to leave. Now to actually get off the bedrock layer using this boat, you get into the boat and as I said before, there's a two block space behind uh, the block behind this boat. So if I get in the boat and then leave and then rejoin, <coughs> as you can see I fall backwards and fall down into the two block space and that is how you get in and out. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like in maybe a less desirable place. Um, so I'm going to start by actually placing this boat in, uh, in one of the sides here, and then I might take the coordinates of this block here, because I want to show you that you can actually do it with a block in between. So right here, there's a two block airspace. Um, this is facing F1, and if I go underneath this block, we can see the cords are 34 and 35, like that. So that's where we want to place our escape boat. So I've got into this boat here, I'm going to leave the game, and rejoin, and then jump up, very good. And now I'm on the nether roof, um, just ignore that I have a hole there, um, and then you can, you know, kind of walk around and whatever. And now we want to find the space for our block. So it was 34 and 35, which is right here. So if I place a boat here, uh, that is on top of the block that had the two bedrock, and then right behind it, which is this block here, has the, uh, has the two airspace underneath. So if I get in here, and then quit, and leave, and rejoin, I will fall back backwards off the boat into this airspace. So the boat is above this bedrock here, um, and this is behind it, and you fall backwards into it. Now something worth mentioning is that in multiplayer, this method of getting off this boat and falling down into the uh, bedrock layer here will not work. You can get up onto the nether roof using this method, but you <coughs> cannot get back down using this method here. <coughs> That will not work in multiplayer Minecraft. 
But don't worry because I have a second method which actually allows you to break the bedrock itself as you've seen here, um, which is both multiplayer and single player friendly. So to break the bedrock and get onto the nether roof, you're going to want two methods of breaking bedrock. And the items required to do these two methods are one sticky piston, at least one regular piston, but they will get destroyed in the second method, some building blocks of your choice, at least three redstone torches, at least three levers, and specifically a piece of cyan wool. Now the first bedrock breaking technique that we're going to use is very simple, and we're going to use it to break all of the layers up until uh, Y127. So what you're going to do is find a bedrock with a space beside it. That's all you're going to need. So uh, first things first, we're going to place a sticky piston facing into the space next to it, a regular piston facing into the block we want to delete, and then three levers. One on the block, um, just up from the, uh, the piston, the regular piston here, one next to the sticky piston there like that, and then one on a block um, adjacent to the, uh, to the bedrock we want to delete. Now the next thing you want to do is power this block um, adjacent to the block you want to delete and then you right click and that will extend the piston and glitch this piston to have its, uh, its piston head in this block here and then all you need to do is unpower it and it will delete the bedrock like that. Okay, and the second method of bedrock breaking we're going to use is the one we're going to use for Y127, but I'm going to do it down here so that you guys can actually see very clearly um, what the contraption looks like. Now this contraption sort of needs to be built in a specific way in order for it to function. So the first thing you want to do is place a temporary block underneath the bedrock like that with a cyan wool next to it there like that and a redstone torch hanging off the side of it there. Then you want to build on the other side a couple of temporary blocks and you can remove these two blocks here and uh, then you want to place a sticky piston facing into the cyan block there. Next you want to place two blocks underneath that temporary block and you want to power that uh, sticky piston with a redstone torch there like that and then you want to place a regular piston underneath that torch there like that. The next thing you want to do is place a temporary block in front of this regular piston here and you want to place a piston, uh, a regular piston facing upwards into the bedrock you want to break. And then you also want to place another piston underneath that one facing up, just like that. Now the last thing you want to do is place a redstone torch here, and now this is all primed and ready to go. So the way to activate it is to punch out this redstone torch, and as you can see, it deleted the bedrock there. Now this also does delete one of your pistons, one of your regular pistons, so every time you do this, it will delete a regular piston from your inventory, so keep that in mind. Now one very last thing of note is that this Y127 bedrock breaker only works when you're facing, when the cyan wool is facing a positive axis. So if I break this, as you can see, it doesn't work, and that's because the direction of the, uh, of the cyan wool, if you look at the Z, is in a negative direction. Um, and that's the same, I mean, if you look at this world, if I go this way, that's uh, negative X. Um, so you can see 31, 39, 37, um, and then this way, you know, 35, 36, 37, like it's going minus direction. Um, so it only works when you're going in positive directions. So say if I put the cyan wall here and then, uh, you know, this, the, the sticky piston there, um, that's going to work because this is going, uh, uh, that Z coordinate is getting closer to zero and positive numbers. And then same on uh, this way, which we, uh, which I demonstrated. Uh, this way is going positive x, as you can see it's going 31, 32, 33 on. So, um, yeah, long-winded explanation, but um, it only works on positive axes, um, so keep that in mind when you're, uh, when you're building it. If it doesn't work, it's probably because you've, uh, you've got the machine oriented wrong. Now that second method was shown off by the Deadly Dirt block on Reddit, I'll leave a link to the original post uh, in the description. Um, but for now, I want to just say that um, breaking bedrock, it takes some time and you kind of have to break multiple layers to actually eventually get to the top. But uh, like I showed over here earlier, eventually you find a space where you've got enough room to build those contraptions and you can actually break the bedrock to get to the ceiling. Alright, but that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys found this interesting and useful. Um, and yeah, let me know if you use this in your own worlds. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!